Hey, Team Expansion, good evening, guys. Your RMD, Andrew and Sally Ensor Smith coming to you from Belita, guys. We are excited about tonight's call. We've been waiting the whole week. And I just want to give a slight introduction before we start with our guest trainer, guys. You know, so just understand, I want to paint the picture right here. You know, he spent 15 years owning his own company in the health and wellness industry. And he took a massive financial hit, you know, when the last economy tanked in 2008. With only 11 cents in his bank account and on the verge of selling his house and being at the lowest point he had ever been in life, you know, he was looking for a son. The day he met Dr. David Peach was when everything changed. Now, the first year in, in, in World Ventures, he and his wife, Brittany, put more than 161,000 kilometers mileage on their vehicle, attending presentations, building their business. And... Um, World Ventures had become their lifeline at a second chance, which they now called the Hope Company. I love that. Today, guys, you know, he's an international sensational trainer in World Ventures. He has built a global team of tens and thousands of members. He is a 100K yearly earner through this company and an international marketing director. And what I love most about this guy, you're going to see for yourself, is his insane energy, his directness with getting his message across. And guys, right now he's on the beach with his family, giving up 30 minutes of his time just to be with us on this call. So we're incredibly, incredibly grateful. Team Expansion, guys, it gives me great pleasure to introduce all the way from USA, International Marketing Director, Travis Just. Travis, how are you, my brother? How are you doing? Andrew, Sally, how are you? We Fantastic. found them. Your energy is off the wall. How are you, Travis? Hey, I'm out here at the beach in California, in San Diego, California, and I hope you all can hear me okay. Loud and clear. But I'm very, I'm very, very excited to be on with everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you for that, that kind introduction, Andrew. Awesome. So, Travis, you know, not a lot of people on the call know your journey, and uh, obviously, we just want to want to let you talk and and let us know what did you do before World Ventures, and obviously, just a little bit about Travis Just because we were all hoping to yeah. meet you next month, and uh, I know that as soon as you can come to South Africa, you will be on a plane and come out here and spend some time with everybody. Yes. Oh my goodness, I love it out there. I am so excited. I see all kinds of different countries on this line. And I want to say, I, I, um, Sally and, um, and Andrew, I appreciate you guys hosting this call and having me on. I feel honored and grateful. Um, it is Sunday morning out here in the United States. And, you know, for those of you I haven't had a chance to meet, um, I'm married to an amazing uh, lady named Brittany. We have twins. We have two eight-year-olds. We have a boy and we have a girl. Uh, we got a two-for-one sale. And I was very uh, excited about that. And, um, you know, we, um, life hasn't always been like it is today. Um, we saw World Ventures seven and a half years ago. And, and um, you know, prior to World Ventures, like you said, I was in a nutrition, uh, I was in the nutrition field. And it was network marketing. I've, I joined network marketing at the age of 22. I'm 44, so half of my life has been spent in network marketing. I would never be anywhere else. I love what we do. Um, the problem was in uh, when it came to supplements. You know, some of you have been in other companies, and whether it's lotions or potions or pills or you know uh, whatever it is, um, I think they all serve a purpose. But what happened was, uh, Brittany and I were in that uh, business for 15 years. And 13 of those 15 years were fantastic. Um, what happened was when the economy in the United States went backwards in 2008, 9, and 10, um, people aren't buying health supplements. I learned something, and you got to know this. Write this down. You know, people don't always buy what they need when times are tough, but they'll always buy what they want. They don't always buy what they need. They need health supplements. They need nutrition. They need that for optimum health, but they don't agree. Everybody doesn't always agree, but that's why when we saw travel, um, our business had went backwards in, in, the, in the health field so bad. We had lost in two years, two years, we lost two thirds of our income. Wow. And so what happened was we see World Ventures, Brittany and I were both in bankruptcy. Uh, we were 60 days from losing our house. 
we were um, we had just had our new truck uh, that we had just bought our new our new SUV had just been repossessed and um, and my wife had just given birth to twins wow. why wouldn't you kick them kick them while they're down Andrew and so um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, obviously, our, our kids, uh, having our kids were the biggest blessing in our life, but we were at a rough spot. We were broken in every sense of the, the, the word. And when we saw World Ventures, people always ask, you know, why, why did we do World Ventures? And I'll tell you, I, um, if you've ever done something before in, ne in, in network marketing, it takes a lot of effort. It takes time. It, it takes a lot of energy. And I didn't know I didn't know if I had the energy to do it one more time. And, um, and then I saw it was travel and travel was fun. It was sexy. It was something that everybody was excited about. It didn't matter if they were girls and guys or black or white or, 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 or young or old or Asian or Amish. It didn't matter. Travel was something that appealed to everybody. And we joined August 1st of 2012 and we started just part-time, part-time. My wife was a full-time school teacher at the time. She was going back to school, into college to be a nurse. She was serving as a waitress. And I was working 100 hours a week trying to save a business that was failing. And um, we just said, you know what? I'd rather try and know than never try and always wonder. If yeah. this is going to be the Mary Kay of travel. If travel is as big as I think it, you know, if travel's as big as it is, and we have a shot to be in front of that wave, the largest wave, uh, I mean, in, 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 in the history of, of travel, I'm like, I got to be part of this. I can't miss this. Here's the hard part. The hard part was we had 11, we, uh, on Wednesday, we had 11 cents in our bank account. On Friday, we saw this business and the significance of that 11 cents means it, we weren't negative. And if we were to go negative, we would be hit with all these extra fees. So we were just above sure. and we saw this on Friday and we knew this was it. We had been praying for something to come into our life. And um, I'm like, let's do this. It was 365 United States dollars. There was only one membership and um, we borrowed the money. We borrowed the money. I hated borrowing money. I never borrowed money. But I'm like, you know what? Sometimes we got to take a step back to jump 10 steps forward. Sometimes we got to just, we got to do something different to get something different. And I was ready for it. And what happened, Andrew and Sally, was our first uh, day, we, sh we, we, we did this part-time for five weeks, five to seven hours a week for the first five weeks. Well, that very first day, guys, what happened was we shared this with 17 friends and family and none of those 17 people except for one of them 16 of those people we showed them our other company and they didn't want anything to do with it we were like the multi-level antichrist people okay <laughs> They didn't, want, they didn't want anything to do with our other company. But when we showed them World Ventures, every single one of them joined. Wow. They bought a membership. Some of them became members and they became reps. That day, we made some money, yes. We earned a BMW that first day, yes. But that's not the point. The point is our belief went through the roof. And I'm like, holy cow, we could really get them all. And I believe that then, and I believe that more today than ever, ever before. We're in this corona and it, this coronavirus, and it's impacting it, the world in a massive way. But I'll tell you something. There are more people looking for you and I than we're looking for them. There's more people looking for you and I to share an opportunity of a lifetime. They need more income. They need more time. They need more freedom. They want their time to be with their kids. They want to retire. They are finally realizing they need extra streams of income. See, wouldn't you rather have a plan B and not need it than need something desperately like we needed and we didn't have it? So that's the whole, uh, that, that's, that's where we're at. We got started three weeks in, we hit senior rep. Five weeks in, we hit the, the rank uh, advancement called director. 11 weeks in, we hit uh, marketing director. And 1,081 days at, six, oh, at 106 in the morning, we hit, um, we hit international marketing director. And we went from a million dollars in debt 
to over 50,000 a month in less than three years. Yeah. I can't even explain that, yeah. but I'm fired up and it's worth it. Absolutely. So that's my story I'm gonna tell now, Andrew. Well, that $350 decision paid off big time, Travis. So I want, it I want paid to off. It, it worked. 100%. <laughs> Travis, I want to talk to you quickly. I want to ask you something. I saw a recent Facebook post uh, that you posted a couple of months back that went viral in all the groups, and I was blessed enough to see it. And you just finished a gym workout, and you posted a brilliant content about how a new member joined the ventures. They super pumped up, you know, to live their dreams. And something happened. You know, the sponsor mentioned something about going to training events, doing presentations, getting uncomfortable. Now they need to sacrifice a little bit of time. And then all the excuses start. And you compare that to registering for a gym membership and not showing up. And I love that comparison. So I want to ask you something, you know, can you talk us through um, what you mentioned by, and I love this word, getting the sucking out of the way and don't quit yeah. and even start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, it's, this is, this is different for some of you that are on here, probably a lot of you, you may never have done network marketing. You know, you may never have, you know, been to a gym. You may have never, you know, taken ice skating. You've never ice skated before. Whatever it is that we do for the very first time, we're just, we're not going to be great at it. I don't care what you do. You don't just put on ice skates for the first time or rollerblades and, and, and become an Olympic, uh, a, a, an Olympic ice skater. It takes hard work it takes time and the analogy i always use is working out i'm big into health i'm big into fitness and i you know um what i what i never realized until a few years ago is 90 percent of the people that go to the gym that pay for the gym membership every month month in month out 90 percent of them pay for the 10 percent that actually work out there and they, that happens because what happens is on January 1 or whenever it is that you make that decision, on January 1, you go to the gym and you're like, woo, ready to go. You're excited. And then what happens is you get to the gym and the first day you feel amazing. Second day, you might even feel amazing, little sore. But all of a sudden, day three, day four, day five, you're like, oh, God, uh, <laughs> you can't even hardly move. And, 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 and what happens is, <laughs> Yeah, you lose, you lose that, you know, like, I don't know, I think people come in and what, what I think happens is they, they overestimate how quick they're going to get great results, but they underestimate where they could be in three months, six months, a year, five years from now, if they just kept at it. You know, the, the, the beginning of this as a brand new person, if you're, if you're relatively new, meaning if you're less than one year old, you can't even reevaluate your life in a year. You, you, you're not even allowed to, because what are you great at right away? Nothing. Come on. What could we do in life that if somebody joins, they're great within a month or two or three or, or even six months, nothing. It's the same way here. Um, there's a, a, you know, a mentor of ours. Some of you maybe have heard of a, a gentleman by the name of uh, Eric Grisbowski. Uh, he's Mr. Get Paid, Get Paid. And he's my mentor. He's the guy, the gentleman right above my wife and I. And he said something forever. He used to say, he's always said, he said, he said, um, he said, fast is fun and slow sucks. Fast is fun and slow sucks. And I never understood what that meant. But what, I, what, what it means to me today is, is that most people at the beginning, because we're new, because we've never done this, because we have fear, because we care what people think, because we um, don't know if we're doing it perfect. Listen, action is better than perfection. See, most of you are doing this painfully slow. You're sharing, you're all excited. You go share it with one or two people. And if they tell you, no, oh, oh, it hurts. It hurts. And then all of a sudden you got to work your way up. You got to play a little Rocky music. And then you work your way back into it and you go show Sally. And, and, and I, she goes, you like what you see? And she goes, no. And what happens is, is we're showing people at a rate where we have time. You're giving yourself time to think about if they say yes or no, 
And what I can tell you is from Eric Grzbowski, what I learned is the faster you're sharing this with people, this isn't about being good at it. It's just about, it's about starting. It's not being great at the start. It's just starting to be great. It's starting to show people the faster we share this with people, the less time you give yourself to care what people say. I think that's one of the biggest things that people have a hang up with. We are addicted to the approval of what our friends and family think. And I gotta tell you, who cares what they think? They already think what they think. Does their opinions pay your bills? Because if their opinions don't pay your bills, then who cares? Who cares? Think of this. I think we've got a, a, an amazing gift in World Ventures. I think it's like, it's like um, it, it's, it, it's a gift that, that today it's not about Brittany and I. You know, your leader, Sally and, and, and Andrew, it's not about them anymore at Regional Almost National Marketing Director. This is about paying it forward to other people, passing along a gift that, that somebody passed on to us. If I don't share this with people I know, I feel guilty. So let me tell you the two reasons why I went really fast at the beginning, okay? I went fast, as fast as I could, in the little bit of time that we have. It's not about how much time you have, okay? Get that excuse out of the way. You might only have one hour a day. You might only have four hours a week. You might only have 10 hours a week. Most people have a job that pays their bills. And we're gonna start building World Ventures part-time, supplemental, spare time, until our income in world venture surpasses our bills, and then we can fire the boss if we want. Okay, that's the goal for some. Now, if you just wanna keep it as a part-time income and do your job because you love it, wouldn't it be cool to have a job? And, 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 and if you were a teacher or you were a fireman or you were whatever you were and you love what you do, some of you really truly love your job, wouldn't it be cool to do your job because you wanted to, not because you had to to pay the bills? Think about that. Yeah. People say, well, money doesn't buy happiness. Okay, fine. But money sure buys you options. A pocket full of money buys you a pocket full of options that I didn't have. I didn't have time to do anything. I didn't have time to be a dad. I didn't have time to be a husband. I didn't have time. Didn't you have kids to want to be with them? Didn't you get married to want to be with her or him? You, we weren't born to, be, to work 40 hours a week for 40 years of our life and then retire on 40% of what we can't live on in the first place. See, in the United States, we live in the land of opportunity, not the land of secure job with benefits. So I went fast for two reasons. I went to my family and friends for two reasons really fast, and I want you to consider this. I wanna challenge you to this. The first reason I went to my family and friends, Andrew and Sally, is because I didn't, I believed in my head. I believed in my head. I believed in my heart. I just had the faith that, that I believed in Wayne Nugent. I believed in the vision. When he said we were going to become the, the Mary Kay of travel, I'm like, I'm in. I'm going to go as hard as I can go and have faith in that until something proves me wrong. Well, here we are seven and a half years later, and it's better than ever before. So I went fast right away. And some of you, real quick, side note. Some of you, maybe you don't have that faith right away. Maybe something in your past is allowing you to not have that faith or to not believe so much. I get it. But listen, you know, people ask me all the time, how do you have faith in World Ventures? How do you know it'll be around in 10 years? How do you know? I don't know. How do you know you're not going to get hit by a truck tomorrow? How do you know your job isn't going to let you off or lay you off or downsize or right size you? How do you know you're going to have your job in a month or two or three? See, I would rather have faith in, in people that have my interest, have a vested interest in my family and I, than just have faith in a, in a company where they were just another number. Yeah. So I went, I went fast and I shared this with my friends and family. For those of you that are brand new, for those of you that haven't really gotten started or for those of you that have been around only for a short amount of time three months six months a year you've got to get to your family and friends in my opinion for two reasons the first reason you got to get to your family and friends is because you got to realize when this thing grows as fast as it does i never want it when my life was changed because of this and i knew it would be changed so i never wanted my friends and family to to come up to me and tell me I didn't show them. No, we showed them. We showed them all. 
because I didn't ever want them to say, well, you didn't show me. Now you're successful. Yeah. Mm, yep. Yeah. Remember when I tried to show you, Steve, uh, Andrew, for two and a half years and you didn't listen? Well, that was me trying to share it with you. See, I, I, I wasn't about that. If you won the lottery, if you won the lottery and you had to split it with 20 friends and family, who would they be? You're not going to run an ad in the newspaper. You're not going to go post an, a, a, a post on Instagram or Facebook and split the lottery winnings with 20 people you don't know. You're going to split it with the people you care about if you have to, right? Yeah. If you don't care enough to share it with your grandma and your mom and your dad and your sisters and your college roommate and your friends, then you don't believe. And that's why it's going slow for you. And you're going to keep, you're going to keep like half-assing it. It's just not going to go until you go all in. You need to go all in. And I'm not saying you have to believe 100%. If you haven't been on a dream trip, I get it. I didn't go on a dream trip for a year. I didn't have time to blow my nose, let alone take a vacation. But I was talking about the dream trip that we were going to go on. I was talking about the trip that my wife and I were going to take, you know, whatever, five months, four months, three months, two months from now. I was always talking about that trip I was going to take. The second re So the first reason I went to my friends and family fast is because I didn't want them to tell me that I didn't share it with them. This second one is the most important. It's because if we didn't talk with them, somebody was going to. Yeah. World Ventures in Africa, World Ventures in Colombia, South America, World Ventures in Europe, World Ventures in Asia, World Ventures in North America, World Ventures everywhere is growing so fast, especially in your market. One of the fastest growing top, top couple markets in the whole country, in the whole world worldwide. If we don't talk to our friends and family, somebody's gonna talk to them. And I'm telling you, it's not gonna matter until it happens to you. Yeah. And all of a sudden we're at a big event and your aunt Edna shows up in an event or your roommate from college shows up in an event and they've got 30 people with them and you could have had them in your team but you didn't even share it with them. 100%. <laughs> it hurts. And that's why you quit the gym. And that's why you say the gym doesn't work. Nah, gym works good. Gym works good. World Ventures, World Ventures works good. You can't afford to show this to everybody you can as soon as you can, Andrew. So, boom. Love it. Love it, love it. So, Travis, um, you know, I was trying to figure out when I watched this. You did a, you did a, a video on YouTube about a year ago. And we've seen a lot of people come and go in the three years that we've been in the country. Now, right now, some people might get excited about a new startup or another deal because people aren't traveling at the moment. And, and I want to the people on the call tonight because a lot of people think, okay, there's a new startup deal. Let me get in first because the person who gets in first gets the money. But they don't realize that your work ethic, if you don't have a work ethic in this deal, you're not going to have a work ethic in another deal. So I want you to talk yep. to people about why would you stay with World Ventures and not look at the oh. shiny object that comes along, particularly now Man. when people aren't traveling. Yep, yep, that's a great question, Sally. I mean, you know, um, this is my 23rd year in network marketing. And what I can tell you is there's a lot of companies that serve a purpose. Most companies that are in network marketing, a good chunk of them, they, they serve a purpose. Some of them are out there to just get your money. And it's just they're, 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 they're not really compliant. They're, you know, they're just out there to, um, to make short-term money, okay? And then all of a sudden, a year or two or three, it isn't, it isn't around anymore. Never, ever, ever in a million years would I participate in a startup company. Hell no. Listen, most companies, okay, most companies, there's over 2,000 companies to my understanding every single year that start. They try to make it network marketing. Over 2,000 companies, okay, give or take a little bit, a little bit low, a little bit higher. And 95, 96, 90, a high, high, high majority of those never make it through their first year 
And if they make it through their first year, they certainly never make it to years three, four, and five. When we saw World Ventures folks, we had done good in our other company. We made $4 million, 4 million United States dollars in 15 years. I don't know if that's good or bad. It was better than anything else I had ever done. It was better than what the average person was making because we made money and we had time. But what I'll tell you is, is A, you gotta look at, a, you gotta look at what you're sharing with people. It, you can sell a lot of things in your life. You can go sell it, it, you know, anything. But if you sell something, it's only for, most things that you sell are only a one-time sale. One, most things that you sell in network marketing, yeah, we sell them, but what happens is they, 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 there's big stuff that, you know, people are ordering stuff to their doorstep every single month, and it's a reminder every single month for them to want to cancel. When we came in, we were from a company where 70%, 70% fell out the bottom, every 70 to 80%, every single month just fell out the bottom. So we were always replacing. And so when we saw World Ventures and travel, I'm like, first of all, it was something that appealed to everybody. Second of all, is that we were already, when we joined, we were seven years old. Now we're 14 years old. So hear me on this. Okay, guys and gals, we're 14 years old. We're in December. We'll be 15 years old. It'll be our birthday. I believe this. You could go up and down the streets of any country worldwide, in any city, and you could say, World Ventures, World Ventures, you should be here, you should be here, World Ventures, and maybe one or two or three out of 100 people know what the heck you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So 14 years, we've got a foundation. We, we're not going anywhere. We're legitimate. If we wouldn't, if we wouldn't be legitimate, if we were, we were going to go away, we would have gone. We've been hit in the face a couple times, big time, in the last handful of years. We're still here. We're like Muhammad Ali, man. We don't get knocked over. But here's the key. Not only are we 14 years old and we're, a, a, we're 14 years old of a foundation, we're only 14 years old. We're only a 14-year-old company where one of the biggest way, this is what we're getting ready right now. We're in what's called our legacy run. Think of companies like Amway. Think of companies like Mary Kay or New Skin or Herbalife or IBM or Apple or Netflix or somewhere in those companies, everyone knows what Mary Kay is. Everybody knows what a pink Cadillac is, right? But there was a time when nobody knew what a pink Cadillac was. Nobody had heard about Mary Kay. Nobody had heard about Apple or iPhone, okay? But all of a sudden, somewhere in there, somewhere between years 10, 12, 15 years, you know, in those first 15 years, somewhere in there, that company flips and they go from a no name company to a household name. And now everybody knows when you see a pink Cadillac, you know, it's a, it's a badass uh, lady usually and Mary Kay. When, when you see everybody, 80% of the world's walking around with an iPhone, boom, it goes from no name to household name. That's where we're at. We are right at the beginning stages of a no-name company, even though we're massive. I, I tell people this, Andrew. I tell people we are a 14-year-old, $4 billion startup. <laughs> but you and I have all the ability in the world to get in and kick some serious ass. Because a lot of people go, did I miss the boat? Did I miss it? <sighs> Not even close. Yeah. Like I'm grateful that we got in when we got in. But it is easier today. We have a $25 membership. We have a silver, gold, platinum, titanium, wherever. Get in where you fit in. Figure out, you know, you know, get the belief. Get around the culture. Figure out, you know, get your feet wet. You can always upgrade. You can downgrade, whatever. But the point is, is that, man, I, there, there's, there's a lot of people, hundreds and thousands of people that over the next three to five to seven years, their life will change forever. When we go from a no-name company to a household name, I met the, uh, the number one income earner in a company called Amway before he died. It was, I was 18 years old. His name is Dexter Yeager. And when I met Dexter, it was, there was, uh, I was in Minnesota where I live, and there was a, he was um, doing a presentation. It was a presentation. It was like a Tuesday night meeting. You want to know where it was? In a stadium that was sold out at 64,000 people. He was making, that's what they did it every Tuesday night. They rented out the stadium. Sure. He did a three hour presentation. He was making a million dollars every 18 hours, 1 million 
USD every 18 hours. And I'll never forget it because in that deal, he said, I joined, I joined in the first 10 years. He said, if you get a network marketing company that's going to go the distance like World Ventures, if you join in the first 15 to 20 years and you hang on with everything you got, it can set your whole life up for the rest of your life. And I'll never forget that because I didn't certainly need to make a million dollars every 18 hours, but I knew he knew what the hell he was talking about, right? Absolutely. So, and that's what we say the time is now. Timing is now. It is so now. And you know what? One more thing, uh, folks. Here, here's, here's a big clue for you. People ask all the time, why am I working so hard? Yeah, I'm at the beach right now. It's the morning. It's, it's 9 a.m. and it's the morning out here in California. But I, I'm going to do a bunch of Zooms today. I'm going to do a bunch of stuff today to, to build our business. I take 80% of my time. I'm, we're, we're, we're 40. Actually, I just looked. We're 48 people from regional marketing director on our second center. So our goal is double IMD by December 1st. And I'm working my tail off. It's not for me. It's different. It's to help my buddies. It's to help the new people get in their life what somebody showed us how we get in ours. But here's the clue. Here's how you know we're at the right place at the right time. Because you got people like Andrew and Sally. You got people like Sasha. You got people like Matt Morris. You got people like Jefferson and Byron Schrag and Troy Brown. All the main people in the company, all the top earners are working their butt off. If we were ready just to sit back and, 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 and put our heels up and sit in the chair and just collect an income, the, the, the surge, the wave would be over. Yeah. Now, nah. we're just starting. That's why everybody's working as hard as it is. There's always more room to grab market share. There's always more room for us to help inspire other people. So I think your timing is perfect. I'll, I'll just say one more thing on this. If you leave to join another company, you are not in my team. You, I'll, I'll never make a penny, not one, one penny, not one U.S. dollar from anybody on you. But I'm going to tell you one thing in my heart of heart. If you leave World Ventures to go do something else, that will 100% be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Guarantee it. The people that have already left, majority of them, they're already trying to get back in because they realize we're not going anywhere. Yeah. We're Muhammad Ali. They, we ain't going anywhere, man, but freaking to the number one company in the world. So if the people in the past that quit because they didn't know if we'd make it, if they're trying to come back, see, but now they can't come back because they screwed it up for themselves because they went and started being non-compliant. They started cross-recruiting. They started doing things. When they're, I'm telling you, just learn from them. If they're trying to come back, I have one of my top earners left. And they could have just left quietly. Fine. I don't care. Go leave. Go, go be happy. Go do something. If it's not World Ventures, go do something. But they left, and then they started throwing mud. They started talking bad. They started trying to recruit people into something else, and they got terminated. Now they're wanting to come back. And guess what? Sorry. Here's how bad I feel for them. Shut your eyes. Okay, that's how bad. I don't feel bad at all. Because they had a choice, just like each of you. Stay the course. Pay attention. Get excited. Don't ever quit. It's too good. And it's only getting better. Today is as bad as our company is ever going to be. It's only getting better. Now I'm all fired up, guys. Thanks. You nailed that question. Thank you. <clears throat> I want to talk about hobbies um you know everybody's got something else besides world ventures that they're passionate about and i can see yours is about fitness because you come from a fitness background and you're in pretty good shape yourself if, if i can say and uh, you know can thank you, you. <laughs> i can see that you don't sacrifice your health for wealth uh, you also seem to have this good balance between eating well exercising and building your business building to double i and d my question to you travis um you know, in your experience, how does one find the time and the discipline to exercise regularly whilst you're on your run to IMD, or in your case, second IMD? And why do you, why do you think it's important having the health side built into it as well? Yeah, I mean, I mean, here's the hard truth, okay? Here's the hard truth. Thanks, Jerry. Appreciate the comment. Um, the reality is, when we joined World Ventures, our back was up against the wall. We were losing our stuff. 
Our house was ready to go. We were a million bucks in debt. We were ha we had kids. I didn't have. I, I needed money to feed our family. And one of the most important things to me is health. It's fitness. I'm a cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with cancer when I was 22 years old. So, and I lost my mom to cancer. So, I I, I don't want to have cancer again. I want to be healthy. I think you feel better when you are. But I'm going to tell you something, and take it for what it's worth. When we came into World Ventures, we made a list of the things that my wife and I were willing to give up to go out and get total freedom and financial peace in our life. And on my way to international marketing director, I want you to shut your eyes. That's how many times I worked out in 1,081 days. Shut your eyes. That's how much. None. Now, I love health. I love feeling good. My brain works like this. If I sacrifice a date night between my wife and I every week, if I sacrifice working out, if I sacrifice time with my kids, that makes me want to work harder to hit those goals so I can finally just go be a dad forever. So I can work out seven times a day if I want, like I can today. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, you're not going to have balance. I don't know where you guys want me to go, but I'm just being open. You're not going to have balance. You cannot, you cannot do all the things in your life that you're doing now and go out and become financially free in, in World Ventures. You can do good. You can make some money. You can have some fun. You can inspire some people. You can take dream trips. But if you really want to go out and knock this out of the park, you, you're not going to have total balance. And I would just ask yourself, think about three things. So. So as soon as we hit IMD, guess what I did? I got back into the gym. On this round, on this second trip to IMD, I am working out. But let me tell you what I did. I get up two hours earlier every single day. Instead of getting up at 7.30 every day that I used to, I get up at 5.30. So I don't waste, I don't, I don't use any of the time that I already had with my family and our business and whatever. I get up two hours earlier. Get up an hour earlier. Stay up an hour later. But don't say you don't have time. You have time. You just have to prioritize your time. If your kids are your passion, if animals are your passion, if, if, if art is your passion, keep doing it. But get up earlier and stay up later. Do it in your non-peak producing hours. Do it. Don't do it between like, between like 5 o'clock and 10 where, where everybody's, well, everybody's home now because of corona. But, you know, it's, now is such a great time to just sacrifice some things so you can get this in front of people while Corona is happening because they're home. We only need 10 to 15 minutes worth of their time. Yep. Let's get them while it's hot. Let's make it. But, but you got to give something up. And, um, and that's what we did. And even in, in our first round, when I was 22 years old, I, um, I, I gave up the things that were important. I gave up TV and I started listening to personal growth. I gave up music and I started listening to good stuff, personal growth. I gave up working out for a while. I gave up dating girls for a while. I just gave up some of the things that were important to me, but I needed to give something up to get something better. Yeah. And if you're in that point and you, if you're stuck in the mud or your business is backwards or you're brand new, if you just cut the fat, if you just get rid of the, just start with three things. Start with three things that are important to you. And get rid of those three things for the next 90 days. Put the blinders on and watch how good you can be. See, some of you have just never given yourself a chance to see how badass you really are. You don't go to the gym and hang out for 90 days. You quit after one or two or three weeks. You could be a badass. You could be the next Sasha and governor, but you quit in three and a half weeks because you're hurt and you haven't seen a result. What if the next week you would have started seeing results and that would have got you hooked on the gym? See, some of you don't work hard enough. We don't, we don't make enough calls to get somebody that says yes or to get a few people that say yes or the right person that says yes, that all of a sudden that fires you up. You know what? Somebody asked me the other day, they're like, why do you, what is it that motivates you? You want to know what motivates me? When people tell me, thank you, I don't, it's not for me, but when somebody says, thank you, you changed my life.
you know my family had never been on a dream trip and now we are or my family was living paycheck to paycheck and now we're not or it's changed my whole life thank you for keeping on me thank you for introducing this to me that's why that's why i get that's why i keep going because i'm hooked on changing somebody's life and when they say thank you you have to go long enough to get a thank you go long enough to where that family goes now my family of five actually got out of the country for the very first time i promise you you'll look at things differently when that starts to happen to you Yes. Oh, there's Travis, a couple of bombs there. Powerful, wow. powerful. Just absolutely love that. So, Travis, you know, obviously, we, we clearly disappointed that we don't have a live boot camp, but we are very excited that we've got an online boot camp. And, uh, you know, when you said right now, keep going long enough until you find the right person, you know, for, for us personally, we went to a training event before we even knew what we had got into. That was, you know, yeah. we they had, didn't even know what, what it was. We just bought a membership and went to a training event. So I want you to talk to the people on this call today about why they have to. It's not an option. Why they have to go and register for food camp. Yeah, you know, I mean, gosh, can you still hear me okay? I got to move. Yep. I'm getting all fired up. <laughs> I, uh, you know, we, we've, I think, you know, our whole life we've been taught education is the key, you know, and, and, and I think it's a value. I think education is the key. Um, study hard, get good grades, get a good job. But you know what I think that education misses? They miss one word. And the one word that they missed is, is that specific education is the key. Like, if you and I want to be a good basketball player, we in the United States, uh, I don't know if it was worldwide, but they just did a 10, uh, 10 um, episode series on Michael Jordan's life. Michael Jordan, ar unargu arguably the best basketball player to ever, the best athlete to ever hit the earth, okay? And if you and I had a chance to sit down with Michael Jordan and your passion was to play basketball and to be really freaking great, wouldn't it be cool to hang out with a Michael Jordan? Wouldn't it be cool if you want to invest money, whether you love Donald Trump or don't like him, I don't care. He's been a billionaire like seven different times. He knows how to invest money. He, he's good at it. If you want to be a golfer and we could hang out with Tiger Woods, think about how much faster we'd learn the game of golf. Well, here's my question. Who's mentoring you? See, those people can give you specific information about how to be good at basketball or golf or, or, or finances. Who's mentoring you in your life? And when I was asked that question at the age of 22 years old, I didn't have anybody in my life mentoring me. My dad was the, the, the biggest income earner that I had ever met. He had made like 40,000 United States dollars before taxes. Well, we live paycheck to paycheck. I, I didn't, I never knew a millionaire. I never took classes in college like Success 101 or Millionaires Than Me or how to be a network marketer. <sighs> So when I came in here and I realized that you and I could go to events like boot camp, three day events in your face and learn from Michael Jordan, the Michael Jordans of, of world ventures. <laughs> like if you want to do this and be great, then how could you miss that? You can't because that's the key. That's where you get a hundred percent of the information from the people that are there. For one, let me tell you about, you know, obviously they're, um, they're, uh, they're going to be live, they're virtual and it is what it is. I'll tell you this, our last event, that United Worldwide Convention, honestly, other than being there in person, that was one of the best, if not, I mean, that was one of the best events I've ever seen in my whole life. The information, the content, the enthusiasm, all that stuff. So yeah, we've got to have boot camps are virtual, but I'll just tell you what, you're getting a chance to just sit in the comforts of your own, own home, no distractions for a handful of dollars, like a fraction of the price, not, I don't know what it costs, but the point is you just, it's not just about you getting there. It's about how many people in your team can you get there? You, it's, it's, it's about it, it. Like if you were there, that's great, but you're going to sit there that, that two days, that two and a half days or whatever in your living room. And you're going to go, Oh my God, this is awesome. But what if you had five people in your team? What if you had 10? 
What if you had one more sitting with you? See, they're going to learn exactly what you are about how to go out and achieve their goals and world ventures, and you don't have to train them. Thank God. Because when I was brand new, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So all I knew is I could get them in the system, and those that were willing, as soon as you get them in, okay, this is big. As soon as you get them in the system and you have time to show people to get them in the system, as soon as you get them in world ventures, the minute they sign, you have to start talking about the training. You get them in and then those people that are willing to join, you get those that are willing to go to the event to the event. Because if you don't get somebody to a bigger event, they're, they're dead in the water. They're not going to do anything probably. Now yeah, they might do a little, they might get a few sales, they might waive their fees, but they're not going to go out and become great because you're holding that back from them. Don't rob people in your team from the chance of being great because you didn't push a boot camp. If I don't get somebody to a boot camp, I feel guilty as hell. I feel bad that I couldn't show you the value to get to a training if you don't go and I do. I feel sick to my stomach. Don't give, don't rob people of that chance. If somebody, some of you that have been, you've been to one, you've been to two, you've been to five, you've been, you've never missed. Well, sometimes you got to push. Sometimes we got to push harder to get people to the events than we do to get them in. Yeah. Because they don't see the value. They don't know what the hell you're talking about. You have to tell them how much fun it's going to be. You have to tell them your story. Give them other testimonies. I mean, our personal story, we went to our first event and we were, um, man, I thought I was excited. We were in World Ventures. We paid to join. But man, when I left that event, World Ventures was in me. And we have been, I mean, we, we are so, this is, this is it. This is where we'll be for the rest of our life. And I want all of you to feel that. So let's put thousands of people on that virtual boot camp for you guys. Let's make it one of the biggest, if not one of the biggest events ever in the history of World Ventures. And the cool thing is nobody has to buy plane tickets. Nobody has to go anywhere. Nobody has to rent a hotel. Nobody has, all you got to do is sit there. <laughs> Keep an open mind and think big, take notes, and just get ready to turn your business to number 10. Because that's what's going to happen for you. Absolutely, you nailed that. Um, you know, I'm looking at the, the, the chat group right now, Travis is going off the charts, and I'm telling you right now, everybody in Team Expansion is just so grateful to, you know, your emotion that you've poured out to us tonight. So I want to ask one more closing question, and this is going to be quite a personal one to a lot of people on the call right now. Um, for that one single person on the call who's either dropped in rank, um, they can't seem to get started, or they're just feeling incredibly frustrated with their own progress right now, what single bit of advice yeah. would you give that one person? Speak into that person right now and just explain why quitting yeah. is not an option for that person. Listen, we're all gonna we're all gonna have good days, bad days. We're all gonna have good months and bad months. We're all gonna this, this is a game of you 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 some people start out and they, they don't grow right away and then they'll they'll figure it out and they start growing but then you'll plateau and then you'll grow and you'll plateau. And sometimes you go backwards. Listen, I, I can give you, including my wife and I, I can't, I could, I, there isn't one person. I mean, I, and I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to tell you, I would bet every pet, every bit of money I have in our bank account that there isn't one person that in their career hasn't went backwards multiple times. So here's what you got to know. If you're new, or you're on a plateau, or you want to go faster. Okay, those three things. What I'm going to tell you, here's the answer to all three of those. You're brand new, and you're like, how the hell do I get started? Fast. If you're on a plateau, you're stuck in the mud, or you are, um, you're just, you're, you're backwards, right? You, you, were, you were a director, and now you're a senior rep. Who cares? What are you going to, if, if you quit next week, well, then, that's your own fault. That's the only reason I would care. But if you're thinking six months, one year, two, three years from now, you're going to be an RMD, an NMD, or an IMD. What are you so worried about? Give yourself some grace. We just got hit with a worldwide pandemic. <laughs> like, there's nobody <coughs> that hasn't lost more people than normal over the last few months. Yeah. 
okay? So give yourself some grace. But the point is, if you're brand new, if you're on a plateau or you're backwards or you're stuck in the mud or you're kicking some butt, but you want to go faster, the way I go every time, it's the same way. It's what I tell you. Here's how I get moving faster. Here's how I get out of the hole. Here's how I get off my plateau. Here's how I go faster. You ready? I figure out a way to put in five people within a week, within one to two weeks, no more than two weeks. You've got to do it fast. We'll go put five new people in the system. And I can tell you, I don't even know sometimes where they come from because I've done this for 22 years. So I have to think long and hard. I have to go through my social media and, and find people. I have to think of people when I'm out and about. I don't have a lot of family and friends that, that don't know what I do, but new, here, new blood is the lifeblood. Some of you are waiting around for your old cows to take you to the promised land. You're not growing because they're not watching you grow. Don't look at your team. Turn the mirror, the person that's looking at you, when you're doing your makeup or you're shaving your face, if you're a guy or a gal, the person looking back at you in the morning, just ask yourself this, if, I, if my whole team was doing what I'm doing every day, how big would my team be? How big, how fast would I be growing? Most of you are probably like, oh shit, that's not good. Because you're not working as hard as you could. They're watching you. They're watching us, right? So if we go out, and I'll, and I'll just give you one, one quick analogy, and then I'll, I'll let you guys go. My wife and I were at a plateau. We hit marketing director in 11 weeks, okay? Less than four months. 400 people. We only had one membership. Every membership was one point. We put 400 people in in 11 weeks from scratch. And then I was on a plateau for 11 months. Oh. I put people in, they left. I put people in, they left. I put people in, some of them stuck. But, I, but not only did I, did I just plateau, I went backwards. And I wasn't marketing director anymore. And at the end of 11 months, I'm just pissed off. And I was like, this sucks. And I'm like, in that 11 months, when I finally look back at it now today, I stopped working as hard as I did to get to marketing director in 11 weeks. I started putting all the crap back in my life that I, that I took out, the sacrifices I made, I put all those back in my life and it was no wonder why I was in a plateau. And my wife and I were just like, screw it. We just recommitted, we made a new decision and we put in five people in four days and I was like, we're hitting RMD. We were 282 people close to RMD and there was a big event coming up. There was 31 days. 31 days to the next event, hadn't put in, I mean, sales were, there was none. 282 people, my wife and I put in five people. I can't even tell you who they are. I can tell you who one person is. The others, I don't even know. Two of them quit within a week. Three of those brand new people brought us 161 new people in the next 31 days. That momentum allowed us to hit regional marketing director, 282 people in 31 days within one half an hour before we were recognized on stage as regional marketing directors. Wow. Wow. Listen, folks, it, should, it gives me the goosebumps. I got the goosebumps yeah. because that's the truth. We all, we all go through that. If, 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 I was, if I would have quit because I was frustrated, I would be quitting the gym again and then you walk around going, oh, gyms don't work. No. Give yourself a chance. Where are you going to be in a year from now? You're going to be in a fantastic place. Where are you going to be in three years from now? Just give yourself some grace. Shake it off. And in your head, go back to where you were. The day, the week you started. Remember that feeling? Some of you lost that feeling. Go back in your head to where you were, how you felt when you first joined World Ventures. Forget all the other crap. And get that feeling inside you again and just start again. If you did it once, you can do it again, all right? So listen, you guys are worth it. You know, I really mean that. I'm super grateful that I got to be on here today. Um, I'll tell you this, if nobody's ever told you that you're worth it, you're worth it. I, I didn't have that really growing up. So to find people here that really care, yeah. I'm just telling you, you've got those people here. I'm telling you on this call today, if nobody's ever told you you're freaking worth it, you're worth it. Why not you? Why not now? If you don't do this, what, you're always going to wonder what you could have, should have, would have.
Man, what if I would have quit? Man, wouldn't have quit. Man, what if I could have went harder? Man, don't, don't what if yourself to death. Find me on Instagram. I just posted a post and it went viral. It's crazy. And I have a picture of Marcus Seta. Marcus Seta, the director of training, he's in his Mercedes. It's on my Instagram page. It's traveling with Trav. Traveling with Trav. Somebody can post that. Go to traveling with Trav. And, and in that post, in that post, I talked about people, what if it doesn't? What if I can't do it again? What if the corona never ends? What if this? What if that? You know what? What if it does? What if, what if, what if it's better than you think? What if you throw your heart over the bar and, and, and it changes your life like it has ours? You can always what if on the negative side, but don't what if yourself to death. If you're going to what if, at least say what if it's going to. And take the glass half full, then the glass half empty, because you're freaking worth it. So 2020 is the year of health and wealth. And I wish all of you the best. And I'm super grateful that I got to be on here today. Travis, thank you so much. We're celebrating double IMD. Can't wait for that WhatsApp to come here and say it's done. God bless Absolutely. you. Yay. Travis, we really enjoyed our time with you. Thank you so much for giving to our team today. Ah. You're a legend. Thank you. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for the very nice comments. I'm looking at them here. Holy cows, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep leading by example. Oh, my gosh, look at all these comments. Amazing. Thank you. I'm humbled. I'm grateful. And um, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in person. Get to boot camp. And don't just go alone. Make a number today. Set a goal. How many people are you going to get to boot camp with you? They just get to sit and have a party at your house. Who cares? Get them to drive to your place. Have a big party at your place and you all watch it on the big screen together. Whatever you got to do, just make it one of the best events, one of the biggest events. The most people that you've had at an event, now's the time to do it because nobody has to fly. Nobody has to, to spend extra money. They just got to show up, turn their TV or computer on and freaking do it. And uh, 2020, the rest of these six months of this year could be the best of your life. So have a great one, everybody. Thank you. Love the energy. Thank Bye you, guys. Travis. Good evening, everybody. And what I love, guys. All right. Five personals in one week. Let's get it done. Thank you, Travis. Let's go. Hey, find me on Traveling with Trav. Traveling with Trav or our, our page. My wife and I live full time in our motor coach. We are the homeless millionaires. <laughs> the homeless underscore millionaires. So <laughs> find us on Instagram. Anything I can do. Love you guys. Bye bye. Thanks, Travis. You've been a legend. Love it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the call. Wow, that was powerful. So emotional. A lot of energy. Love yeah. it. Book your ticket for bootcamp, guys. $49. Let's see you walking the stage. God bless.